to uh, into this one here. Da, 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 right down my time, sorry. Um, are we going to see Michigan football this year? Very interesting article over the weekend, Dr. Mark Schlissel. Schl- Schlissel. Maybe I'm saying that right. Who knows? He's the president of the University of Michigan. His, uh, his thoughts on the possibility of a college football season have not changed. He said, if there are new students on campus this fall, there will not be college football. Uh, in an interview with the Wall Street Journal, uh, he's an immunologist by training, uh, touched upon the potential return of athletics and the potential difficulties ahead. He said, if there is no on-campus instruction, then there will not be intercollegiate athletics, at least for Michigan. Uh, he expressed some degree of doubt as whether there will be college athletics anywhere in the fall. Uh, his comments echoed comments during an interview on CNBC in early May. He said a decision on whether students will return this fall could be made in the coming weeks. Uh, any decision we make for this coming fall is likely going to be the case for the whole academic year. What's going to be different in January, Schlissel said. While other universities have declared there will be college football and teams are on the verge of bringing their athletes back to campus, uh, Ohio State's team will reportedly return to Columbus on June 8th where Illinois football and basketball will return between June 3rd and 8th, UM is taking a more patient approach, which is also necessitated given the state's current stay-at-home order has been extended through June 12th. Uh, The Wolverines will not return to campus and voluntary workouts before then. Uh, Now, across the state, Central Michigan, Western Michigan, Ferris State, etc., have all said that they are welcoming campus students back for the fall semester. Um, Michigan State has said it's going to wait until July to make a decision on, on fall. Um, have, have the power brokers just not gotten to him yet? Like, is this, you know, we, we've talked about this several times as to whether or not we're going to have football this season, but he's saying, like, regardless of what everybody else does, um, he's not, they, they're not playing if they're not going to have students on campus. What, what are your that, thoughts that's here? That's it. He's left, he's left himself wiggle room. They're going to have students on campus. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, like this is what all these guys are doing is, is they're making all these big, bold claims. I don't really know why, but I, I, I'm going to tell you that I believe he's absolutely going to, he's, he's going to cave because it, look, bottom line is, and I understand like Michigan will probably be fine. Like they're going to take a big hit if they don't play college football. Uh, but like central Michigan, Western Michigan, those teams, College football runs their entire athletic department and a big portion of their entire university. Like, yep. they won't be open if they don't have college football. They won't be open if they don't have students on campus. Yeah, Michigan, they'll probably open up next year at a deficit. But, you know, I mean, this is... Uh, Michael said, checking out, fellas. Great show. See y'all tomorrow. Gig them. Michael, absolutely. Have a good afternoon. Uh, my thoughts on this are... He just hadn't had the talking to yet uh, because a, a lot of people across this country everywhere, you either don't say anything or you say something positive. Like that's, that's just the way it's gone in these circles. Uh, why would you put it out there that you ain't planning on, on doing this? Him um, saying that, oh, I'll, I'll be surprised if any college is saying, I know they're all saying they're going to, but I don't really think they are. He is full of crap. At the SEC is playing. We, at the SEC, Terry. we are playing football. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Terry said, great show, guys. Even though I watched it, I'll still download to help the numbers. Don't forget to like and share. Terry knows what's up. Terry's you got man, it. brother. I, we're going to have college football this season in what way, shape, form, or whatever. Uh, who knows? Obviously, things are, are capable of changing. Um, but we're going to have college football. And, and it's going to be on time. Yep. Like, uh, there, and we're going to have crowds in the stadiums. We're going to have all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's, it is going to happen because it is too much of a loss if they don't do it. With that said, we're going to go on and get out of here. Chris, is there anything else we need to hit on? That's it, brother. That's that is it. All right, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. All the guys in the chat, you guys were great today. You always drive the conversation. We cannot tell you how much we appreciate that. Uh, it means a bunch to us, and we're glad that you're here every single day. You guys are wonderful. If you would, share the show out. Tell your friends about it. Uh, make sure you leave a nice review over on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, whatever your favorite podcast app is. Make sure you are subscribed on the live show and that you jump in every day and comment in and help drive that conversation. Uh, McKinnon, to close us out, said, just goes to show UM is a shell of what it used to be athletically, especially in football. Yeah, it's, uh, that's part of it. I mean, it, a lot of it has to do with the leadership at the top. Like, does, does your guy believe 
in football as the front porch of your university, or does he not? So if you got a guy that doesn't, yeah, you, you're going to have problems. Just the way it goes. All right, that's going to wrap up the show. Chris, another good one in the bag. We're glad that we came back from a nice long weekend to a wonderful full crowd, a full show. You guys have been great. As always, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.